Hello, welcome to PyPad Mathematics. This is Professor Lamb, and this video is going to be talking about the Math Learning Center app. It's a GeoBoard app, uh, and just in general, discussing and, and showing how GeoBoards can help model the idea of square units and using these square units to find the area inside of two dimensional surfaces. And uh, GeoBoards are very good at doing this. Uh, you first create a geometric uh, kind of figure, uh, two dimensional surface, if you will. And this, when I shade it in, you can see the square in it and the square fills in an area. Uh, when you are building an idea, when you are studying and showing students and helping them discover the idea of area, the idea is finding the space inside of some boundary, inside of some shape that has a, a boundary. Uh, fences are good, uh, floor plans are good, uh, area of a wall, area of the desktop, uh, this is a surface, a space that you are finding how much space there is. And space comes in two dimensions. There is a, an up and down dimension and a left and right dimension. Or there is a north-south dimension and an east-west dimension. There is a horizontal dimension. There is a vertical dimension. There is a um, kind of in front of you, a forward-backward dimension, and then a side-to-side -side dimension. However you describe it, however you explore this concept of area, you're trying to get them to understand, trying to get students to understand that it is space. That area is the space inside of a figure that fills up a figure. And the GeoBoard, especially with this app, that you can use the, the dynamic kind of elements of shading it in and unshading it, and they can see that they can visually picture that space that's filled up. And when I stretch my rubber band, I can see that there's more space that's covered up and even more space that's covered up and even more space that's covered up and even more space that's covered up. And when you have a shape like this, you tell students, well, if I were, let me use a red rubber band so we stay consistent. If I were to say that this equals one square unit, one unit of measure, one square unit of measure, then what would the area of my red shape be down here? What would its area be? And therefore we would have to count how many of these squares actually showed up in our figure. And there's four of them. So this shape that I created, this space, the area that I filled up equals four square units. And so therefore we are understanding the concept of area being square units. And we can further explore that by taking the shape and going even greater. And now this equals six square units. Well, what happens if we do something like this? changes at all. The, the dynamics change a bit. We have our six squares, one, two, three, four, five, six, but we have this triangle piece out to the side, and this triangle piece out to the side has a unique characteristic. That unique characteristic is that it equals one half of one of those square units. And we can visually see that. We can see it and we can also explore the fact and we can work on vocabulary to where this diagonal cuts the square into two equal halves. But now we have our six whole square units and then we have this half. So the area of this model of this two-dimensional space is going to be six and one half. This is very important. Students exploring irregular shapes let me delete all of these wonderful pieces. And students exploring these shapes, these irregular shapes via an area model and defining what a square unit is, is important for them to understand the concepts behind square inches or square feet or square units, which is what area is. It's two dimensions. It's space is two dimensions. Now, one thing that really it bothers me and I understand where it comes from but when we are teachers of mathematics we do not need to tell students that area is length times width as the definition of area. Area of a rectangle is length times width. I will not deny that fact. 
it is a fact it is it is shown and it is explored and it is proven but it is not the only definition of area and a lot of times elementary students when you say what is area they say length times width why do they say that because students folk I mean teachers are focusing in on rectangular area because it is the concept in that grade it is what's tested is what they need to memorize but area is so much more areas of irregular shapes areas of circles areas of ellipses areas that are all over the place place space is defined and calculated every single day in many different professions so when we define area we define area as the space inside of a figure a two-dimensional figure it has two dimensions therefore we measure it in square units but area can come in all different can be the area of many different shapes if you will so don't teach area as length times width teach the area of a rectangle as length times width but area in general as the space inside of a two-dimensional figure. Uh, so this video again just talks about using square units to determine the area of two-dimensional shapes and surfaces and you have to show and define what a square unit is and show them that and use that to define the space inside of their um, figures that are given. Uh, so uh, use geoboards, use cutouts, printouts, whatever you like, and have students explore these concepts of square units and finding the area of two dimensional surfaces. It's very important. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm Professor Lamb, and this is PyPad Mathematics.